Yes, this is the Now program here on TV and uh, on Talk City 91.1 FM as well. And uh, that's if you're in your car because uh, you should be on your commute right about now. And you can also catch us on Facebook on TTT Live online. And as we are in fact keeping with all the local programming here on TTT, got something really special for you that's coming up. Uh, we know we've been focusing on all the local movies um, made by Trinidad and Tobagonians. And this morning, it gives me great pleasure. And I was just talking to offline because she looks so lovely this morning. Um, you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say good morning to Sonja Dumas. Sonia. Sonia. It's spelled with a J, J. But pronounced. I always yeah. thought it was Sonja, though. I don't know yeah, why. But that's Sonia okay. Dumas, <laughs> director of Julia and Joyce. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. So glad to have you with. Thank you so much for having me. Julia and Joyce. Now I want to get into Julia and Joyce, which is actually, um, you tend to focus on dance, mm -hmm. you like the dance and the theater. And yes. this is actually to do with uh, dance history in Correct. Trinidad and Tobago, Julia and Joyce. And we'll get some more uh, in detail on that. But I want, for those people who may not know at all, seeing you for the first time, not necessarily hearing the name for the first time, huh? because people <laughs> should know your name by now. <laughs> Who is Sonia Dumas? Well, um, I am a dancer. I'm a dance practitioner. I'm also a filmmaker, uh, an arts educator, a writer, um, Lima. Yeah. That's most important. <laughs> well, you know, you live in Trinidad and Tobago. That should be the first on your list. Indeed it should. Indeed it should. Indeed it should. <laughs> So that's basically a, a little bit, bit about what I do, but what I try to focus on is uh, our Caribbean culture and the importance of it, because I think a lot of us don't know how important a lot of many of our aspects of our history are, right? So I think that it's interesting that, um, you know, we have a kind of surge now of talking about the creative sector, et cetera, but we are also kind of need to look back and see, well, what did we, what did we come from? And that will inform what we do now. Yes. And so I try to do a lot of projects that have a kind of historical sort of aspect to it so that people can know exactly where we came from. Mm -hmm. What got you into dance, though? How old were you when you started? If you ask my father, he'll say crib. <laughs> but um, you were <laughs> <laughs> apparently, I like to dance to a particular Calypsonian's mm -hmm. music. But um, you can call his name Christo. Oh, that's okay. to tell him how old I am. Oops. You're not that. Uh, <laughs> There's some people in here who know Christo too. Where is he? <laughs> but um, I think uh, I was in and out of it up to about 14 because my family traveled a lot. Mm -hmm. And then when we came to settle in Trinidad and Tobago, um, I got more into it from about age 13, 14. And I kind of never looked back, even though I did other things. And dance is really my heartbeat. And um, I've, I've kept it close mm -hmm. ever since. What type of dance? I trained in classical ballet, um, but I also, trained <laughs> I also trained in modern dance. Mm -hmm. And then later on, I, da I joined the Astor Johnson Repertory Dance Theatre. And we did a lot of African Caribbean contemporary forms it was you know in in that sense because Asta had this wonderful way of fusing the two together yeah the traditions of the of the African continent of India as well he has a wonderful work called fusion that does that as as well as the own impulses of our own space so that I got into that and then I kind of fabricated my own thing and I have my own company called continuum dance project which does a lot of contemporary dance, but contemporary in the context of our Caribbean experience again. Mm. So those are the things that I do. I love when, you know, our Caribbean people uh, focus on what is us, like yes. West Indian literature and, you know, the dance, uh, the history. Um, yes. I prefer our people do it than someone outside. You definitely, know, definitely. It, it. it speaks with a different yeah, voice when it we does. do it. Because it's ours, mm. yes. you know, it's exactly. just what we, this is always born and bred in. Yeah. Now, this Julia and um, it's Julia and, and Joyce. And Joyce. Yes. It is actually um, Julia Edwards and Joyce Curtin, um, two pioneers, I should say, icons yes. uh, in dance. Who the limbo? Yes, that's should right. Should I try, Eva? Try. How low can you no. go? <laughs> I think with <laughs> <laughs> that might be Take it. the heels, <laughs> It might be even, I should try it with the with heels, the heels. <laughs> you know, how good I am. I, I don't even think I can get to their level, but yeah. this is like the foundation as well of, yes. of dance in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes. 
yes. and you look at dance mm-hmm. history. Mm-hmm. What? Tell me what it was like doing this film, focusing on these women. Yes. Well, you you mentioned the word pioneers, and in actual fact, the the full name of the of the film is Julia and Joyce two stories of two dance pioneers, because you hit the nail on the head, that's exactly what they are. And um, I was lucky to have a wonderful friend called Ray Funk, who is uh, an historian, Mm -hmm, as you know, mm -hmm. um, mostly in the areas of Calypso and Pan. But he encouraged me many years ago to record Julia, just as a a matter of course, and Mm -hmm. I was really happy that I did that, because a few years later, she wasn't able to be interviewed. And, so I started with Julia, and then of course I had known Joyce. I'd actually danced in a couple of Joyce's pieces years before, and I wanted to. I knew how important she was to the the whole history of our, our mm. dance uh, practice in Trinidad and Tobago. And so I asked her, and she said, "Oh, f- and Joyce is the kind of person who would just say, oh, you really want to do that?'" <laughs> and I say, "Yes, Joyce, please, 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 please." And so she agreed finally to do it. And um, so I had a very small team of people, just three of us, uh, a sound recordist and a a director of photography. And I was everything else. Producer, chief cook, bottle washer. I don't cook, no. I don't cook. (laughs) (laughs) That's the one thing I don't do. (laughs) And um, and then, um, you know, I had to be the the researcher. In Mm. fact, I had to actually fly to New York. Here's this. I had to fly to New York to find some archives which we did not have here on her work. Mm -hmm. You see? So it was a very interesting process. And um, I really am very happy with the outcome. All right. Mm -hmm. So we can look forward to seeing this film, uh, Julia and Joyce, right here on TTT. Thank you so much, Sonia. Let's take a look at what you can look forward to. The hell and back is so good. Dancers have it, especially the female dancer. Julia Edwards um, was one of the premier limbo dancers in Trinidad, and her troupe was one that brought limbo around the world. I never saw Julia get vexed, except for that's not the way I want you to do the step. I went half around the world with Julia. One of the things that's amazing about Limbo is that it becomes the iconography of the Caribbean. It, yes, they keep fighting me on this Limbo business because Limbo is the national dance of this country. I came into dance, I think by accident and sometimes I think it was inevitable. Now, if you, are you looking, who told you to move that? Joyce is foremost an educator. She was at pains to make sure that they understood the whole tradition. The one we all love and we still here, don't make me turn into a custard. I had no difficulty in letting people know that your behavior is not appropriate. She was always an inspiration to me because Young men aren't always all that uh, confident of themselves, and Joyce was always this big sister. And Julia. Julia and Joyce. <laughs> I know. But you know, they're so synonymous with dance and starting dance and trying to right. So you go, Julia or Joyce, Joyce or Julia. Um, it's just the limbo. Yeah, so you know right. where you, we saw the some Trinidad, this w- girl who has Trinidadian roots limboing under the car? Right, yes. That's where she got it from. Julia. Yeah. Julia. Uh, and Julia. <laughs> oh, that's as far you're as good, I go. You're good, like that's <laughs> as far as I go. <laughs> But looking forward to seeing it on TTT as well. Oh, yes, well. most so definitely. It's going to be aired right here on TTT, all the local programming right here on TTT. Of course, TTT. because we live for local right here on TTT.